Hey guys, Mixed Media Girl here. In this video, I am doing a gorgeous two for one resin project. So stay tuned all the way until the very end to see what the second project is. The first project here is a vase. So I'm pouring over a clear glass vase, which is upside down on a plastic cup and inside a silicone mold to catch all of the runoff. Once again, it's a two for one project. So I'm pouring enough resin to do both projects. I'm using Mixed Media Girl Artist Resin and just a few colors. The white I'm using is a Lumilite White Resin Dye. The tur turquoise color is actually called Ronde Aqua and I got mine from uh, RK3 Designs. It's also sold by Artist Till Death. Then I'm using some Polycolor Micas, three colors. I'm using bronze, gold, and gold dust. Now as a note, the white and the turquoise are opaque. The um, gold is quite transparent and the copper is semi-transparent. So I'm layering these purposely to get the colors that I want. The gold is not really going to show up very well. It's just going to be um, a really light shimmer, but it will definitely absolutely add to it and really make it awesome. <laughs> Once I was done pouring my resin, I torched the vase very lightly just to get rid of air bubbles. You do not want to over torch though, or you can run all of your resin off of your vase. You could use a heat gun as well if you do not have a torch. I then took the rest of my resin and put it into one cup and just poured that into the tray just to make sure I had enough resin in the tray and use up the rest of my resin. I let the vase sit for probably about 10 minutes dripping until it had at least mostly stopped dripping. It's going to keep going for a while. The cure time is um, about 24 hours, but it stops moving after a few hours. Once it mostly stopped dripping, I lifted it up by the cup and moved it off to the side so that I could finish this second project. I did not want to tilt this, so I let it sit there until it filled in all on its own. I did use my heat gun a little bit, once again, to get rid of air bubbles and also to make the resin a little more fluid so that I could make sure that it filled in that hole in the middle. But no tilting, I kind of just let it do its thing so I could maintain the pattern as much as humanly possible. And I apologize, for some reason it went out of focus a little bit here, <laughs> but don't worry, I'm gonna show you a close up of this in just a second. Um, so it maintained the design pretty well, but I always say don't get married to it at this point. Resin is going to change as it cures. So it's not going to look exactly like this once it is dry, but it should mostly maintain this pattern. Um, the white being heavy tends to sink under the other colors. Um, so you're going to ma mainly see that turquoise in there. I let this sit for about five to six hours and then I peeled it out. You can see that it is very, very pliable, but it's not sticky at this point. So it's a very fine line of when you can demold this to do this next step of the project. Um, and it's going to depend on the temperature of your workspace and the resin that you're using. If your resin cures much faster, you may need to demold it after just a couple hours. If it's very hot, you may need, may need to demold it sooner. If it's cold, you may need to wait a little bit longer. I pushed it into this plastic bowl that was the shape that I wanted. You can probably guess what this second project is. And then I put a silicone mat on top of it and that's because I wanted to weigh down the middle with a bottle of resin and I did not want the indentations from the bottle of resin on my bowl. So I used that silicone mat as a protectant. And then I let that cure overnight. So uh, the next morning I came in, took out the silicone mat. There is some slight indentations from the mat itself, but you really can't tell. And if it bothers you, you could use a heat gun to get rid of that. I took it out of the plastic bowl. It should come out quite easily. And at this point, it's not 100% hard, but it's, it's quite hard and it will maintain this shape. So here is the vase. It is so beautiful. I cannot tell you guys how much I love this project. I leave the drips on the top. Personally, I like them as part of the design, but feel free to uh, sand them off if you would like. And it's just, just gorgeous. Slightly transparent, but mostly 
um, you see those beautiful colors. Here is the bowl and this will maintain this shape now and can be used for a variety of things. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Um, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all next time.